Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So quite recently um, I've started to mix Magpie pigments in with white gel polish to create custom pastel colours. Um, everyone's been asking for sort of pastel pigments um, which at the moment Magpie don't do and I, and I don't know if they will really soon. Um, so by accident, I actually mixed one of the pigments with white. Um, I was trying to do some, some detailing on some nail art and I thought to myself, well, rather than having to put white down first, then add in the pigment, can I mix it in with white like you do with acrylic and it stay neon? Obviously that didn't work. It went past and I was like, oh no, I don't want that and took it off. Um, so it was completely by accident that I managed to do it, but it's now created a whole sort of new world of using the pigments. Um, I've created two different colours on my nails. Um, so I'm going to show you sort of just mixing one pigment with white gel polish to create one pastel colour. And then I'm also going to show you uh, mixing two pigments with white to make a sort of in-between colour. So... For um, Beauty UK, I wore sort of um, some Tiffany blue nails. So, and this is the colour. So, what I actually did is I mixed the blue and the green, so Dora and Zara, in with Gelish Arctic Freeze. And I actually bottled it up because then all of my clients wanted it. Um, so I won't obviously show you how to do it in the bottle because I don't have another bottle that I can use. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it on some foil because as well, you know, if you're wanting to create loads of different colours at once or whatever, you, just using a bit of foil is absolutely fine. So yeah, we'll just get straight into this and let's start mixing some pigments. Okay, so I've got my foil, I've got my white gel polish, this is a new bottle of Gelish Arctic Freeze. So, and all I'm going to do is pour some of it out onto the tin foil. I'm obviously going to only mix enough for one nail because I'm just going to do it on a nail pop for you. You will obviously have to mix more if you're doing it on a full set of 10 nails. So I'm going to show you just mixing one with Fleur, which is the purple pigment. So, and I've just got one of these sort of nail spatulas. When I actually did uh, the bottle of sort of the Tiffany blue colour, I used a screwdriver. Don't ask me why, I couldn't find this. But either way, <laughs> either one of them will work. So I've got my bit of white on the foil here. So, and literally you just want to start mixing the tiniest bit of pigment so that amount first because we are trying to create a pastel colour and I think that's going to be plenty so and then just with the spatula we're just gonna mix it all in so and as you can see that has made a lovely lilac colour so, and obviously if that's too dark for your liking, um, which I kind of think it is, just add a little bit more white, just that amount, and then just mix it in. So it is that simple, guys. So then, to apply it onto the nail, you could always just clean up your gel polish brush um, or I actually used one of these sort of flat gel br brushes this is from she sells seashells and this is just the flat brush so it's quite nice and small so if I just get my nail pop and we're just going to start applying this color onto the nail so and it's really nice and pigmented If you're getting any sort of streaks or any um, bits where it's still neon, you haven't mixed it well enough, go back and mix it some more. But you should just get this lovely 
colour, making sure to cap the free edge. So then I'm going to cure that in my lamp. So now we're just going to add our second layer. So, and like, you know, that was a mixture for one nail, but you could probably get two or three nails out of that size. So just do little bits at a time. Don't over mix it because then otherwise you're just wasting all of your white po polish. like that so then i'm just going to cure that in my lamp again so then now all we're going to do is just top coat this cure in the lamp and then it's done so we'll move on to mixing two pigments with white gel polish so i'm just going to use another bit of the foil so again same thing we're just going to tip some of the white gel polish out so and I'm going to make a peach colour which I did before it was the first picture I actually posted so I'm going to use coral and zoe so we're only going to use a little bit of zoe but it just it helps so again I'm just going to get my little spatula I'm going to start off with coral so and again just a really small amount to begin with so and then we're going to start mixing that so it has kind of gone a peachy color but it's still quite a pink peachy color so and then going to get Zoe and again, we're just going to add a really small amount. Just to make it a bit more peachy. Like that. So same thing again, just going to get my gel brush. going to start painting it onto the nail pop and I'm going to cure that in my lamp so and then now we're just going to go in with our second colour coat and I'm going to cure that in my lamp again so and just to finish this off going to top coat cure wipe off the inhibition layer and then it's done so and there you have the finished result so i've done all of the neon pigments mixed with white and then i've got my two custom colors on the right hand side so we've got izzy zoe coral joy fleur dora zara and then these two on the right we've got coral and zoe which you saw me do and then the tiffany blue color which is dora and zara so it's really easy to do guys and it just opens up a whole new world and obviously you can do different shades of pastel as well if you want it to be really really light just add more white or less pigment or if you want it just a little bit brighter but still pastel just add a little bit more pigment but it's just a fantastic idea and I absolutely love doing these custom colours. It just opens up a whole new world. So I hope that you like this video, guys. Please like and subscribe for future videos and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.